Hello. Let's get inside the house. Don't worry. <laughs> <coughs> Cat game. Let's see if it actually saved where I was at. We just got into the factory. So whether it's accurately still here or not. The a... okay, we're good. So, as I was doing, it's been five minutes to turn that on and off. Fucking hate this bloody technology, huh? I literally reset it five times. Any better? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Again. Oh, I don't understand. Every time I do it when I'm not visible, it fucks up and it's the one time I do it, so... Very annoying. And evade security. Go! I'm in. Yep. Shit. Uh oh. Ooh. Nope. You didn't see anything to worry. It's fine. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Can I just jump on the drone? And, like fuck it all up. Aha! This is my prep for returning to the Metal Gear Solid series. I think Farrell said they're off watching Thor Love and Thunder tonight, so. Might see them later, but right now they're having a good time watching, watching movies. Jump back is it or Yep. Fuck, uh we get it all the way across now. Monsters Inc. garbage blocks. Mind when Sully thought Boo was like mulched up. in part time. Got to go under them? Okay, there are very thin windows here they slip by. Power side. Ugh. Isn't there like an eye of our suit is like in the in one of the cubes? Actually, scary. Nope. <laughs> oh. Must think it's great though. Is this gonna get cut to pieces or are we gonna be fine? 
Ah, fake brain. Wagwan here. What is this? Hmm. We met Sully. I do you remember that actually? I. Fun old time, eh? Shit, we sent it away. Is that the this? Oh, fuck. Uh, balls. Well, there's one over in there, too. to bring it over here. <laughs> Sullivan. Maybe we need to jump up on this to get over the fence. I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this family die. Uh, I love the Monsters Inc. world and Game Hearts 3, yeah. I don't remember what it's called. Montrop? Montrop? Montropolis? I think. Whatever the... City and Monster Skull, I think that's its name in the world. Okay. I think Montropolis or Monstropolis or one of those. Grab it before it closes. Bastard. <laughs> what is this? There's only two, right? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, I thought the webcam was a little weird there. Uh, you know what I started watching before we were chatting today, Noodle? The I think film came out this year called... Uh, I don't know how you... If you say Triple R or RRR. Uh, yeah, we'll start watching that. It's like a good chunky three-hour film. Um, it's one that's been... Uh, one that's been piquing my curiosity since I've heard some people talking about it. It's like an Indian produced film. Just start watching. Say just start watching. I watched about an hour. That's <laughs> an hour out of three hours. <laughs> I'll probably watch some more later later tonight. Or it gets weird for films. I mean, it's, it's a long film. It's not the time really. But it didn't didn't have just three hours. That was I. I didn't have three hours from when I wanted to watch it, which is when Blind Mate put up the reaction for it. And I was like, oh, finally it sounds to watch it. So how the fuck can I get this thing? There were what? It's good fun so far, but I'm really like it. I'm missing something here, aren't I? But I can't rule this shoot this thing along until that middle part's out of the way. For some reason I just thought of um Oh there you go now the middle part's clear. There we go. Oh there we go. I just thought of um uh, Laszlo calling Guillermo Gizmo when it made me laugh. <laughs> oh hey oh frames you alright? Not that pile gizmo We got it. Okay, let's get out of here before the sentinels show up. 
<laughs> Gotta get this battery back to Clementine. Fucking the high tail, let's go. <coughs> let's get the fuck out. Where the hell even? I can't remember where Clementine was. Oh, they're in the apartment complex, right? Can't remember where that is. Fuck no. No. Oh shit, it's all warded off. Uh oh. Has Clementine been found? Hey, think you can stop us from hanging in our digs? Oh balls, what's happened? Do you think the criminals eyeing my collection of vintage cards? We're gonna get found if we just sneak in under here. I guess not. Shit. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Creeping. I'm just staring straight ahead. Oh fuck! Shit. Ugh. That's all barred up. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Shit. I'm in chest. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Christ. Good fucking gat. Sorry, didn't see it. Alternate timeline, I don't have him. <laughs> I really like how the world looks. I think it looks really cool. Gizmo, huh? <laughs> it's funny with um, Nandor's actor because he used to do. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's him. I remember being really surprised when I found out. He did a series uh, over here called Phone Jacker. Where it was just like a prank call show, really, where he had like a list of characters. And I used to find it amusing, and we used to have like jokes in our family about it. And then he did uh, like an extension of the show called Face Jacker, where it was like him, like, um, it was like doing IRL pranks on people with, with the same characters, and he would like dress up as them and all. And I found it kind of less funny. Um, like I, I think a lot of it went like too far and wasn't really funny anymore. And uh, but my parents fucking still love the time. They just they wouldn't fucking hear the end of that dinner time, you know, with the references and all. Um, and fucking like face checker memes and all. Um, to the extent where I got like I think I got sickened with the actor. And then it wasn't then like until like whenever I found out he was Nandor, I was like, what? The redemption for the actor here for me. I need to go back now and like rewatch some face jacker stuff, knowing that's him. Because when I think of him now, I don't think of phone jack or face jack. I think of, I just think of Nandor. It is also funny to me as well now that when I think of Matt Berry, I don't think of his character from IT Crowd, which is what it, it, he always was for me. That I think of Laszlo, which has been really amusing. Like I'll generally picture like certain lines or something, and like it used to be like. A line or two from IT Crowd, but now it's fucking him saying like, "Coming, my love," or something like that. You know, like as as Laszlo, or as um, yeah, as, as Laszlo. I 
I suddenly go up a f Here we go. Stairs. Don't turn around. Can you get to the other side there? Shit, been hunted. Fucking go. Quick. Whoa. <coughs> My man. Clementine's still here. Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? Looks like some kind of coded message. We're going to play a tech today to figure out what happened here. Look. B12 on the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And there's four symbols. Sign Clementine. Take a look. Fucking hell. Was the lava lamp one of them? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Find something? I don't see anything, are you sure? Well, the lava lamp was like number four or whatever. Break your furniture. It's like some weird crystal with like a growth on it or something like that. This thing. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. I can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. Yes, I'm with. Okay. Next one looks just like crystals, yeah. Crystals. Don't think that's them with them. But no, I think they have an apartment. I the weird mannequin. Is this the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says, "Come to." Wait, that's that was on it. What? Which one was that? Oh, that's the third one. Okay. Okay. We need the crystal and we need the... the, the, the lava lamp was there, so why didn't the lava lamp like, give us anything? No clue here? I don't think so, lad. I think the lava lamp is something. Unless there's two lava lamps, I think also be possible. We need to find the crystals. Oh. Mine. Oh, there's a lava lamp. Okay, so there are multiple lava lamps. <laughs> this is a nice wee cozy nook. Cozy time. Another lava lamp. Oh, crystal. This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. 
we had access to the beacon for us to find something useful. I think with his message it says, Blazer. I'm with Blazer, come find or something like that, right? So it's just a lava lamp. Oh, we've seen three lava lamps so far, huh? It's obviously not the right one. Ah, oh, this one maybe? I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. Didn't even notice this message here. Come, come. I'm with Blazer. Come to nightclub. I'm with Blazer. Come to nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. It's me. Let's go find her. We don't have much time. Let's go. Right, let's get the fuck out. Was Blazer the guy in the bomber jacket and the gold chain that we were speaking to? The one that helped us get into the factory? Pretty sure that was Blazer. Where are you cops? My right, question is, have we been to the nightclub? Do I know where it is? Are they making it something new? Repurposing time coming up? That's a really good thing, at least those that you're not like stuck, you can you can do something with, you know? If you're mega talented. Where is the nightclub? Club. That's all scary to just in there. We're probably gonna get in trouble up here, but fuck it. Just re scope. <laughs> this is like a restaurant or something in there. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Where is the night? Oh. Is this it? Is this the bar? Yeah, it's not here. This is different. This is just, this is just the bar. I don't know if we've even seen the nightclub yet. What does the force tell you, hey? Skirt or top? What, is, what are you feeling? Where the nightclub is, lad. This is not it, this is the fucking clue shop. Ah, uh, you is the answer to that. Oh, this is the, 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 where the bouncer was. Fuck you, go away. This club is full of posers. At least there's no sentinels here. How the fuck do we get in? Danger, groove levels of 2%. Please find dancing spot immediately. Sign. I don't think the boys are gonna let us in. Hey guys. I think we have to climb at the back again. Uh, okay. Good top lad, good top. Oh, what's gonna hold back here? Hard to clean the streets only for others to mess it up again. Anyway, that's how the world works. Can I get up there? Who's that? Lat lit uh, is there a lit killer or lat lat killer? Howdy partner, why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you? Okay, I'll lead up. Oh. Jim Jameson? 
You have no business here unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy, which you don't. Get lost. Oh, fucking back alley surgery. Uh oh. There's a cool guy having him. Alex. Hey, get up here. You wanna party with us? Here, jump in and get, get a drink. Let's fucking go. Thanks, Alex. What the fuck? Viv. Like my mask, I made it myself. It jams the sentinel scan, that looks cool. Anna. I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. He's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh, did I dab punk up on the fucking stage? DJ Matsy. Hey everybody, DJ Matsy here. Let's get the party started. First song is on request of our very questionable friend, Blazer. Where's Blazer? To let us in. Person's passed out. Frip. This club sucks. I tried to go to that stupid VIP room. They kicked me out. Me? Can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. Give me a drink. I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it. I don't want to be caught with it. Figured out that Baba could be adorable. Mm. Maybe we can get a drink here. Can I yoink a drink or do you speak to the bartender? I'm gonna yoink a drink. Oh, fuck. Get the lever. There you go. Oh, thanks, my friend. There you go, as promised. The lever handle. Now we can get into the VIP room. Oh. Yeah, that's the exit. So where's the VIP room then? <laughs> My eyes. Where the fuck's the VIP room even meant to be? fucking doors in this place. That's the exit. That's the stage. That's the door behind the bar. Where the fuck's the VIP room then? Oh fuck, I'm a 3D printer. Oh shit. Huh? Uh. I'm going down to see the house elves then. I assume that my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the con annoying consequences the next uh, next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Necocor. And the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Oof. No elves here. No. They just love slavery. They love being enslaved. Back up we go. Where's the VIP room? The Alex knows. Showing yourself a little one? Uh, 
Why don't you tell me where the VIP room is, Alex, so I can know where the fuck to go? Hey, customer, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private business going on. I've been reserved with some blazer guy, I think. Is it just this one behind the bar? What's above? Okay. Actually up above us. Okay. Whoa. Funky. I don't know if I should be up here or not. I got that lever though, so it needs to be good for something. How the fuck did they get up to this VIP room? Like lounge though, if they're not a fucking cat. Hmm. There is like a path going around the top. Sit down and send me back up. There we go. Okay, now we're talking. What does this do? Oh, we're messing with the fucking roof stuff? Okay. Why are they leaving? Ugh. Rough. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain about them so much. Blazer, I'm. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. And it was strange. As soon as we heard that guy saying he's friendly with the Sentinels, it was very weird that Blazer just walked out. Business is money. I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. All yours. Shit. Prison arc, boys, let's go. Time to find Saijima. He'll break us out. <laughs> Alcatraz. Go to jail. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. You can't contain me. Yep. Yep. Oh God. Webs. Jail. Prison arc. You know what else happened? Just your arc's not complete unless you get a prison at least once. Are you done there? Nope. Okay. okay.
<laughs> but if you want to go to prison, you can't have a complete character arc again, sorry. I'm getting the fuck out of here. God. <laughs> Not a great place. We can't hack anything right now, we are just a cat. Get your lad. Nope. Probably have to go up and over, but the how do you get the up part? We get on this like box here. Yeah, there we go. Yep. More robots down below. Is this one going to move at all here? Or am I forced to go down? Probably forced to go down, right? <laughs> that makes sense. Oh. Don't open the box, don't open the box, don't open the box. Fucking run! Oh, we can't understand them because we don't have uh, the, the wee droid lad. The key. I understand. Pisses on the wall. I'll take it. <laughs> the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean again. All the Pirates of the Caribbean references are coming in. One after the other here. Who comes in? <laughs> Your cat starred in the video game, doesn't huh? He is the stray. With capital S. Where are we going here, Clementine? Let's go. Need to find our droid, lad. I can't understand what you're saying, Clementine. I'm sorry. Mm. Where is he? No man left behind. Dun, dun, 
Let's go. Get them out. Yes, we, we prison break ourselves. We also prison break everyone else too. Shit. Oh, fuck, they're everywhere. <coughs> oh. You said you liked them earlier, right? Right. Yup. Shit. I'm in. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Someone's rattling. Where actually is the robot? Stealth game practice is coming on now. Come on, clutch. Alien Isolation, Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Keep the last two for tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Where am I you running to here? Is there like a hole in one of these like windows or something? Just walk around underneath it. Fuck. Oh, there's a switch. Missed, missed that completely. Aha! They're all like, what the fuck's going on? High alert now, yep. Shit. Ooh, ooh, speeders. Tron! <laughs> <coughs> Shit. They're all on high alert looking. As soon as this one turns around, we'll just follow right behind it and see how far we can push its FOV. Pausers. Trapped in my last computer system alone. Again, all alone. 
You came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. Oh. So glad that we are all together again. But we're not safe yet. We can find a way to here. Can you open that door just there? Number 12, get open. for knocking over. Can we not get this open? Oh. They're actually gonna use them. Boston windows. Yeah, I Christ almighty this is so loud. Clementine. Yep. We're in. Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in. Oh god. I can try, I guess. Meowing work, maybe? Come get me, come get me! Ugh. <laughs> you fool. There's someone out here. Bots just lying around here now. All terrasature? This recovery center has done me the greatest good. My mind is clear and lucid. I'm an exemplary citizen now. Christ. Oh, wow. Oh, someone's on the move. Go again for this one, I guess. Oh. Poor fellow. Seems that the sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. But I feared they've completely erased them. No more emotions, no more self awareness, no more memories. At least let's not get caught. Yikes. How many cells do we have here? Fucking <coughs> double duty job, huh? <coughs> oh shit, we kinda need to get them both in and then run and seal them both in, I think. Do you get me, suckers? Fucking run! <laughs> Shit! Ah, balls, I fucked it up. Aha! Got them both, right? Get fucked. <laughs> A little bit messy, but we got there eventually. Well, the Rubas are coming out to fighting, though. The Sentinels are gone. 
far. Yeah. I don't know if the Sentinels were the little floating boys or the, the actual bodies, but I think it's all the same kind of force. Another blockage I see, Clementine. Fine, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Eerie vibes. <laughs> Give it good vibes. Just open the gate for Clementine. I know that. Like, I'm just trying to fucking find out where I want to go. Oh. The switch that's literally right there. Yep. Keep missing them. This door is the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control panel over there. Control room, sorry. We have to find a way to get across that room, though. Let's look around. In there. Okay. That's kind of what I was doing. I think I just went... That was a little bit too eager. Maybe get in, like, in behind there, I think. Means. Oh, no. We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Oh, I wanted to drive out time. Up on the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. But I wanted to drive it, Clementine. No! Don't take us away from me. Rob. If a cat wanted to get up over that fence, it could. They, like, they don't need the back of that van as a little step up. They just fucking leap the whole thing. Mad bastards. Time wait. Wait for me. Fuck. Bail time. Can't be what you have to do because there's no way to avoid in there. You're just in like a fucking open tunnel. Hmm. Where are you meant to go? There's no way we'll all make it with sentinels on our tail. I can distract them for a while, while but you have to go. The guy said his manifesto says, you must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. You're one of us now. Not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Subway key. Go. Now, I'll keep you my ram, little outsider. Good luck, Clementine. Peter's engaged again. We have to get back to our family. Don't 
Things got a little hot here. Hmm. Two other cats. Fucking playing the water. Us. Lovecraftian horrors. Eh? What the fuck is that? It's just like a door to hell. It's like something you see when you're approaching like a Dark Souls boss or something. Okay, the blue is like a bit less threatening. Threatening in all our ways, but not, a, not in like the traditional demonic sense. Where's our battery? Okay, our key's probably good now. Thank you. I'm going home, lads. <laughs> Get on the seat first. Key in. Is this where we wanted to stop? Oh, robot. <laughs> Helper 477. Hello, I may help you. Am I at the right place? Try the world's safest city, Walled City 99. Okay. Seems nice. Okay, okay, looking promising. Botanists, okay. Helper 62, Green and Habit into Bald City 99. Painting the walls, yeah, okay. I'm currently painting this area, please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. Right, okay. Mm, right. Don't know if I should be suspicious or not. City sealed. Oh fuck. Violating the rules of confinement will result in a heavy prison sentence. <laughs> Greetings and happened to Wall City 99. The door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Well, I guess that's just where we're going to go then. Very corpo. That's the big dome over the city, I'm assuming. <laughs> but you can see the walls and all. It's kind of cool. Oh. No, that's really cool. This reminds me of... Um, uh, World Enough in Time from series uh, 12 of Doctor Who. I don't know if you've seen. It'll, it's like uh, Pierre Capaldi's last season. It's very cool looking. Control room. Here we go. I think so. Yeah, it's kind of similar views that we killed them. Yeah, Capaldi's last season. The control room is closed by some sort of a security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. 
It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we could open this passageway. Hmm. Work together, you say? Can't get out. Can't, can't get out. L plus ratio, plus you fell off. Huh? I need to bring this over. <laughs> Gee, the wires. Scratch the fuck out of them. I'm in. Oh fuck, there's more. Shit. Ah, oh, we're good. <coughs> this is the control room for the entire city. They control everything from here. And it's empty. I remember hitting them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague. I remember it now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside. Together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Well, there was a little glimmer of hope when he said he couldn't remember his family, that they might be fine, but... Rip hope. Hope dies. What do we got going on here? This is it. The main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Just searching for the right computers. Clack, clack, clack. Nope. Clack, clack, clack. Turn on, you bastards. I'm in. It works. Good job, my friend. I find it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Oh. Roof control station. System is locked. There, that's the workstation to open the city. There are several layers of security preventing us from using it. I need to do what we do best. Me. I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. <laughs> okay. If I can get open. Yeah. Grab it apart. Oof. He burst. The, the, the system is taking more than I expected. Shit. Oh no, there's sentinels coming in, aren't there? Oh no, we gotta keep going. Fuck, keep looking, keep looking. Oh, there's another one. Uh, see things around that we can just break.
Uh, shit. Okay. <coughs> Aha. Scratch, 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 scratch. Don't worry, I can recharge once you open up the workstation. Oh no. No, you buzzing. I don't like that crackly sound. Pain. What is this one though? Doesn't seem to oh there's something there, okay. My panel. Oh no. I think I think his little body is done for. Okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable the alarm. Mm -hmm. I got you, little boss. Just like we find him, the little 3D printer. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's con central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. With the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer, and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions, and you. Here, let me take that off you. You're my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Goodbye, B12. Oof. It's opening! Kill the Zerks! Marty too. Dr. Seamus Clementine, yes. <coughs> Open the dome. Too small. Oh, 
It's still going. I think he maybe left it and bring it with us, but I don't think so. Where was the entrance tonight? Down there, wasn't it? Yeah. City open, park, let's go! City is actually open, you can freely get in and get out. Light. What is this? Mysterious substance. Nature. I'm back. Blue skies, what? Smell the air. Right, baby. No, oh, I want to see it get back here with little cat buddies. There we go. Eh? I open her. Complete the game and open the city. <laughs> I hope you get a little scene of him like getting back with his buddies. <laughs> That's right, cute. Massively groundbreaking or anything, but it's a cute little game for three streams. It was, it was definitely enjoyable. Look gorgeous as well. Really look beautiful. Funny the the least detailed thing I think was the actual model of the cat. Probably that's the thing that's moving the most, you know. But the actual environments and everything look really nice. Um. It was, it was fun. Yeah. The world's really cool. I, got a lot, I love the environment design and everything. Yeah. I don't know what we'll do for tomorrow's stream. Yeah, it'll be either Mass Effect or Yakuza. One of the one of the story boys. I don't yet know if the Star Wars podcast is back on next week. I don't know if, if Blame ever back in their office yet, so we'll see. All the cats. Riggs RIP. No. The fucking Oliver too. Oh no. time. <coughs> yeah, maybe we'll do Yakuza. Yeah. We'll pick up with uh, Akiyama and uh, Haruka. And then we'll back to the normal uh, trio of games next week. With, with maybe one missing again. We could do that.
Jojo. Nick Farrell might miss the stream all the hour then. <clears throat> They'll land back like the fucking uh, John Travolta meme how. So there's a speedrun trophy to do this on our two hours, I think. Which I think Farrell and Hasney were talking about. They've, they've already done. Name extra like Hatsky Rosenberg. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> well, that was Stray. That was good fun. I had a good time with that. Nice chill little game that lasted only a week of games. One more than I expected, but uh, still very fun. So that'll be us for today. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably tomorrow we'll probably do uh, Yakuza, I'd say. No scene with a friend. No, we didn't get this. They didn't reunite. Well, we assume we reunite with the cat friends, like so. We can just assume it for our own goods. Um, so we'll have some Yakuza tomorrow, and then next week we'll be back with our uh, either six full streams or five, depending on um, uh, if I'm away for a uh, podcast. So thanks for watching. See you later on. And yeah, thanks for watching Stray. Bye bye. See ya. Mm -hmm.